So chances are you've heard of a little phenomenon mm -hmm. that is 50 shades of gray. Yes, and much of that racy, and we mean racy, bestseller is set in Portland and in Vancouver, Washington. So I went to some of the spots that are highlighted in the book where people who work in those spots mm -hmm. were actually shocked to learn they were mentioned in the book. It's been called a romance novel on steroids, and it seems just about every woman in America is either reading it or knows about Fifty Shades of Grey. It looked interesting, and like I said, I've heard a lot about how it's like super sexy. The book involves the racy relationship between Christian Grey, a young billionaire from Seattle, and Anastasia Steele, a beautiful college student at WSU Vancouver. Even the staff at the Commuter University of about 3,000 students was surprised at the British author's selection. And so I guess placing your rich businessman in Seattle makes sense. So maybe she was just looking for a university that's on the I-5 corridor, or maybe she was looking for a university that was really beautiful. Staff members at the home of the Crimson and Gray in Vancouver have been passing the book around, turning many of their cheeks, well, crimson. It's you know, a very different book than what you think that it might be. The relationship between the main characters starts to heat up at the Heathman in downtown Portland, mentioned 19 times in the series of three books. The hotel has had numerous people book rooms after reading Fifty Shades. Some of the spots mentioned include the bar, the private dining room where Anastasia and Christian have dinner, and the elevator where they, well, you'll just have to read the book. This guy's wife is. Yeah, and she's like, oh, it's great. <laughs> Who knew? Another reason that the book is so popular with moms is the invention of the e reader or the tablet. Wives, moms, women can read it at a crowded restaurant or bar or at a children's event, and nobody will ever know. Not to say that only soccer moms are reading it, but students on the WSU Vancouver campus, Anastasia Steele's would-be classmates. No, I have I have a lot of other stuff to read. I'm reading Faulkner right now, so. So yeah, not so much. The majority of people buying the books are women from the mid 20s and older. Some health experts even said this week they think the book could spice up a couple's love life. Kurt Tandler's not so sure of that. That's not the case in our instance. <laughs> now I am going to get divorced. <laughs> I love that He's going to be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. <laughs> and I may just have the book on my Kindle as well. I'll admit it. And you know what many women will tell you when the camera is not rolling mm -hmm. is that the book lets them live out some fantasy type scenario in their head. Without going into detail, it is not your standard romance novel. I will say that. I think I'm the only person in the newsroom not reading you it. You seriously are. Seriously. Every girl in the newsroom is reading yeah. this right now. I'm outing them. Yes. Right. <laughs> Multnomah County Library, by the way, has a 600 deep wait list. 600 people waiting just to check out the book. Mm.